Sometimes the fish are feeding exclusively on small fry. When this happens, it can be difficult, yet still important to match the hatch, so to speak. Small fry are transparent, and you can see right through to their innards. I started tying this fly to mimic the small transparent bait fish. You will want to start with a fine monofilament thread and wrap it all the way to the bend of the hook. Now we're going to add a strand of saltwater sized flashaboo, the really thick stuff. We want to wrap that in tightly all the way back to the bend of the hook. Then bring your thread to about halfway to the eye of the hook. Tie in some pink or red crystal chenille, or you can even make a small dubbing ball. Make multiple wraps if you're using the chenille, or make a relatively thick dubbing ball. Now we will wrap our flashaboo all the way up the hook shank. Once you reach the chenille, wrap over the chenille and capture it right on the other side with your thread. Make multiple tight wraps to hold everything together. Now, pull a generous pinch off of some pearl ice dubbing. You will want to wrap the dubbing around the hook shank and tie it in so it is completely engulfing the entire hook. Now pull back the extra fibers and wrap those in as well. Now we're going to add four to five strands of crystal flash on the top of the dubbing. Wrap this in so there is a small tag end on the end of the flash. Then pull those tag ends backwards and tie them in as well. As you can see, those tag ends will flare outward and create some bulk. Now pull a small pinch of ice dubbing in whatever color you plan on tying this in. In this case I am using olive. Tie this in at the center of the clump on top of the hook. Double it over on itself and tie that side in as well. Now pull a very small pinch of olive dubbing and dub that into your fly to create a tapered head. Now pull a generous pinch of pearl dubbing and wrap that in around your hook shank. Tie this in at the center of the bunch, pull the front fibers back and tie those in as well. Now you can whip finish your fly. We will be adding some eyes to this fly. I'm using size 332nd silver 3D eyes. We will want to put these on at the very front of the fly, right behind the eyelet. This will hide any wraps and give a small head on the fly. Always make sure the eyes are even. If they aren't, it could track incorrectly. Now we can epoxy our eyes in. I am using a product by Solarez called Thin Hard UV Curing Epoxy. It is thin enough to penetrate the fibers, yet still thick enough to form a small bulge over the eyes for a head. It cures very quickly with a good UV curing light, so it's much easier and quicker than the 5 minute epoxy. I like epoxying the eyes in in steps. Let's rotate our fly and we can epoxy the bottom part of the eyes now. We want to pull back the fibers before we add the epoxy. You can use a bodkin to adjust the epoxy if need be. Make sure and keep the fibers pulled back before curing. I am now going to use another product also made by Solarez. This is their bone dry formula. It is super thin and comes with a brush applicator. I like painting around the eyes with it. It will cure super hard without any tackiness. It will also be one last added step to ensure the eyes are completely covered with epoxy. This will ensure that they stay on and make the fly much more durable.
After the fly gets wet, you can see just how transparent this is. The small, lightly colored gill really shows through, and the pearl hook shank looks like the pearly guts of a small fry. This fly is such a subtle presentation, and great for finicky fish. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now go catch some fish.